everyone. Can you all recall why elements react or combine with each other? They react to become stable by acquiring a noble gas configuration. What do you understand from the phrase noble gas configuration? Noble gases have a completely filled valence shell. Thus, attaining a noble gas configuration would mean having a completely filled valence shell. The noble gases are chemically unreactive. So, what is noble gas configuration? Is it having one electron in the valence shell? Or having three electrons in the valence shell? Or having six electrons in the valence shell? Or having eight electrons in the valence shell? All noble gases except helium have eight electrons in the valence shell. Let me tell you a short story to help you understand this a little better. Once upon a time, there lived an unhappy and unstable element called chlorine. It was leading a very unstable life. It tried hard, but nothing could make it stable and happy. In its neighborhood, there lived a noble family of inert gases. Chlorine was so envious of them as each one of them was stable and happy. It also wanted to attain nobility. One day, Chlorine met Argon, the third member of the inert gas family. It looked almost as big in size as Chlorine. Chlorine asked him the secret of its stability and happiness. Argon told him that it has no reason to be unstable or to react with various substances as its valence shell is completely filled with electrons. It had a perfectly balanced life. Chlorine finally knew the formula for a happy, contented and stable life. Now, Chlorine wanted a completely filled valence shell as well. But it had only 17 electrons. It tried various permutations and combinations to have a completely filled valence shell. But no matter which arrangement it tried, it always ended up with seven electrons in the valence shell. Chlorine was sad once again. A few days later, Chlorine was sitting on a bench in the park when it saw one of its old friends, Sodium. It was happy to see Sodium after such a long time. It immediately invited Sodium for a hearty chat. Why are you so sad? asked Chlorine. Sodium replied that it was extremely sad because it was highly unstable. It wanted to be stable somehow, but did not know what to do. Chlorine shared the formula 
for stability with sodium, which was given to it by argon. Sodium then told him that it had only 11 electrons and no matter what it tried, it always ended up with one electron in the outermost shell. Suddenly, Chlorine jumped with joy. Hooray! And asked Sodium if it would give Chlorine one of its electrons. That would make both of them stable and happy. Since they were good friends, both wanted each other to be happy. Sodium was indeed happy to hear what Chlorine said and agreed immediately. So, sodium gave away one of its electrons to chlorine and now had eight electrons in its valence shell. Chlorine, in turn, was grateful to accept the electron which helped it attain a noble gas configuration like argon that is eight electrons in the last shell. They promised to stay together as sodium chloride from then onwards. This strong bond of friendship developed due to the give and take of electrons which was known as an ionic bond. This was an interesting story about the formation of an ionic bond between sodium and chlorine. The ionic bond is also known as an electrovalent bond. An ionic bond is formed in two scenarios. When one of the atoms donates electrons and forms a positive ion to achieve the electronic configuration of inert gases and for the completion of the octate, thus resulting in its stability. When the other atom gains electrons and forms a negative ion to achieve the electronic configuration of the noble gases. When a metal reacts with a non-metal, transfer of electrons takes place from the atoms of the metal to the atoms of the non-metal and thus an ionic bond is formed. When metals react with non-metals, generally they form ionic compounds containing ionic bonds whereas when the non-metals react with other non-metals, they form covalent compounds containing covalent bonds. An electrovalent bond is formed by the transfer of electrons while a covalent bond is formed by the mutual sharing of electrons. Since the electrons are shared between the atoms in a covalent bond, both the atoms are neutral. Whereas we have seen that in an ionic bond, one atom develops a positive charge while the other develops a negative charge. Before we learn how metals and non-metals combine to form ionic compounds, let us learn what is an electron dot structure. Generally, only the electrons present in the outermost orbit or shell 
participate in a chemical reaction. The electrons present in the outermost shell are known as valence electrons and the outermost shell is known as the valence shell. The valence electrons in an atom are represented by putting a dot or a cross around the symbol of that atom for each electron. For example, sodium is represented as any dot and chlorine is represented as Cl and around Cl seven dots. You can predict the number of valence electrons by simply looking at the electronic structure or electron dot structure. Let's practice a few of these electron dot structures by drawing them for magnesium, aluminium, potassium, calcium, nitrogen, oxygen, chlorine and phosphorus yourself. Now let us learn about the reaction of a metal with a non-metal that is sodium with chlorine or the formation of sodium chloride. The electronic configuration of sodium is 2, 8, 1. So, if it loses one electron from its outermost shell, it will attain the configuration 2, 8, which is a stable configuration. Thus, sodium will have one proton more than its number of electrons and will carry a positive charge. Chlorine on the other hand has the electronic configuration of 2, 8, 7 and if it gains an electron it shall have a configuration of 2, 8, 8 which is again a stable configuration. It will now carry a negative charge. Sodium will donate one of its electrons to chlorine. During this process, sodium will acquire a positive charge which can be shown as any positive, while chlorine will acquire a negative charge denoted as Cl negative. If you look carefully, you will see that there are 8 valence electrons around Cl with a negative sign. This donation of an electron can be shown by the arrow. Look carefully, the arrow is pointing towards chlorine showing the movement of the electron. Thus, when sodium combines with chlorine, we get Na dot plus Cl seven dots gives Na plus Cl negative or NaCl. It is very important to know how to depict the steps of the formation of an ionic bond between a metal and a non-metal. Let us now quickly recapitulate what we have learned in this module. For atoms, stability means attaining inert gas configuration. Noble gases have a completely filled valence shell. The ionic bond is also known as an electrovalent bond. When metals react with non-metals, they generally form ionic compounds containing ionic bonds. When non-metals react with other non-metals, they form covalent compounds containing covalent bonds. 
electrovalent bond is formed by the transfer of electrons while a covalent bond is formed by the mutual sharing of electrons. An ion is an electrically charged atom or a group of atoms formed by the gain or loss of electrons.